Hello, everybody. Tina, I'm back. And as I've already promised, I, uh, I was going to do the recitation of Mihai Eminescu's uh, poems in English. So now we go to gabrieldito.com, the, the website that I chose, and we're going to go to Solitude. Okay, this is the first one. All right. So I'm going to go with Solitude. And for those who know Romanian, you can follow along in Romanian language. You can see it right here. Okay, so let's start. Solitude. With the curtains drawn together at my table of rough wood and a firelight flickering softly, do I fall to thoughtful mood. Flocks and flocks of sweet illusions, memories the mind recalls, and they softly creep like crickets through time's gray and crumbled walls. Or they drop with gentle patter on the pavement of the soul, as does wax before God's altar from the sacred candle's roll. About the room in every corner, silver webs the spiders sew, while among the dusty bookshelves, furtive mice soft come and go. And I gaze towards the ceiling that so many times I saw, and I listen how the bindings with their tiny teeth they gnaw. Oh, how often have I wanted my worn lyre aside to lay from poetry and solitude. At last my thoughts to turn away. But again, the mice, the crickets, with their small and rustling tread, awaken me familiar longings and with poetry fill my head. Once in a while, alas, too rarely, when my lamp is burning late, suddenly my heart beats wildly, for I hear the latch bar grate. It is she, my dusky chamber, in a moment seems to glow, as if in an icon's holy luster did o'er life's threshold flow. And I know not how the moments have the heart away to sneak while we whisper low our loving hand in hand and cheek to cheek. Translated by Cornelio M. Popescu. Okay, so let's stop sharing everyone. That's solitude. So we're going to see you again with the next one. Thank you for watching. Bye.